welcome friends we live in a world where we talk by texting the recent age we are surrounded by social media maybe the first thing you look at it when you wake up will be looking at whatsapp or some messages are available or something you work mostly in emails and uh, even nowadays more than face to face meeting you are having digital virtual meetings and all so in this particular age we have a special topic called digital body language because previous before the digital era when we are facing with someone else we will try to even in the communication itself only less than 10 percentage of communication is by words or something remaining is non verbal cues and all but that face to face face to face non verbal cues that is getting missed or that is getting escalated or or just shifted to some other plane of reference now which is a digital platform so our today's book is digital body language how to build trust connection no matter the distance by erika devan author of get things picked done so she is a uh, born and brought up in india uh, sorry born in india and brought up in us and she's uh, ex harvard and all and she's good in in terms of uh, teaching and all these parts so communication we human beings are a social animal so this is part of us so if i go quick summary on the book we have a table of contents we have what is digital body language we talk about that in the book like talking about phones message how we can understand the digital body language in the current era uh that is one part of the topic so second thing is that why are you so stressed in the meeting so trust and power good intention poor results and all these things so phones messages and all, all these parts are also there so why are you what are you really saying that's that's also another important topic because usually when we talk we know what we are talking but when we text uh, it is not same as talking because the way we can read it many people can make multiple interpretation of that thing so value visibly that's another aspect of the communication where we value someone else time effort especially in the current generation like when usually before when we talk simultaneously you are getting feedback but nowadays it's not like that you can send a message to someone else now and leave it when they become online they will see that message they will send that back so value visibly is going to tell that that's like a best practices to improve digital body language is something you respect someone else time just give some time the in the meeting uh, there is some some interesting book about the same as well by captive captivate and all these things by Uh, books as well it's a best seller as well this also talk about like we are so much stress if you if you if you are somebody who is part of virtual meeting zoom and teams and all i'm sure you know what i'm talking about you will be more stressed in such meeting than a face to face meeting especially uh, we our the the level of our distance in a face to face meeting and virtual meeting is very much less because when you are a virtual meeting you are somehow there is some space like close distance like private space public space and all somehow we are not able to just calculate it because our brain is trained so we have a miscalculation on that and there are lot of psychological effects also so the stress on the digital meetings are too much there communicate carefully is talking about uh just texting or writing emails or something we just have to be make sure that this is understood by the other person so just make sure that before you write just okay i write it what i think it is your job to understand it it is not like that <clears throat> so we have to be just communicate carefully just to make sure that we have a proper communication in the 
in the digital space even nowadays more than talking even on a same company or to the clients we are more into digital texts and all more than talking we used to write collaborate confidently that's in between the teams we'll discuss about that trust totally which is an important aspect as well if there is there is something called trust power matrix so if there is no trust available then power is there that dynamics is going to change the communication and the body language as well even though there is power there is no trust there is some something else will happen you you'll understand what i'm talking about then another thing is about gender how each gender trying to take about the communication on the digital aspects generation some generation take it in one way uh, the new generation they are more digitally adaptive and digitally native and all these topics we'll talk about like same same topic which same text message you send it to your father you send it to your friend that create two different reflections on these two people culture is another aspects there are high context society where they don't care much about normable cues and all these things like uk and us so when they are sending to the email you can write hi and but some some asia and middle east and all these parts they more care about nonverbal cues as well they are like even central europe and all you have to be more careful in dear and such things so all such things we'll talk about here that's a quick summary about the table of content as we mentioned your usual disclaimer information views are about the author and we are just sharing it for uh, educational purposes only so this book is uh, one of the book by thinker 50 of 2022 it's an interesting book by erika dawan feel free to read it we'll go in detail now so what is a digital body language so that's the first chapter so as i mentioned these days we write the talk which is different previously we talk the talk but now we write the talk even somebody may be debate with me okay we send audio message as well but i'm just telling majority of communication 70% of the communication in the new world is virtual now in all aspects so phone messages so generally that is what makes it very important because usually when when you ask me like when you when i tell a particular name of somebody else your colleague or something or about me or someone else our memory will be something around how lot of transactions we are creating a memory of that person but nowadays we are meeting so many people which we will not even meet them face to face maybe we'll be communicating with them over years virtually only so or maybe messages or lot of things even the even the romance is now happening in virtual world so what i generally means is that our digital persona is really important so we have to first of all understand the digital body language of the other party at the same time we have to make sure that our digital body language is appropriate for the situation and the scenario to succeed in the new era so that's that's about that what is digital body language so in a quick conclusion it is it is not a normal body language like your hands gestures or something like it is more profound than that it is more exaggerated or the level of uh, understanding is different there why you are so stressed as i mentioned like digital meetings are stressful in its own effects because we are not able to create that level of connection in the digital meetings even though nowadays post covid specially even though we have an opportunity to have digital meeting some people really stress that okay let us do face to face we can discuss better there actually you will think that why why it's like that but actually that that really also matters because digital meetings and face to face meeting still have a difference there if you are someone in, who was uh, more into old school or you are someone on a already in a senior person you would have done all your earlier career use uh, earlier career using the face to face meetings and also you just change now you will not be able to adapt so easily or be still be in the old so sometime there will be like 
good intention but poor result will happen so for example if you write somebody an email uh, uh, i'm not sure uh, you are busy or something like that just imagine maybe you are writing it just to make sure that okay you are not disturbing him or something so but maybe somebody will think that okay you are not sure i am busy so you think that i am i am lazy so i am telling there is a chance for misinterpretation but in the other way of conversation like if i am talking or something we will be still having the intonation and all these things so we we still have somehow able to get that what that really mean but on the text texting level or majority of writing ways where social media and emails and all we are lacking that so there is a big chance for even though you are in good intention there is a chance for poor results as well also there is something called disinhibition effect especially when you are in digital media you are more vulnerable so usually when we are face to face meeting we are not able to, but you can see that like a lot of people become so crazy or in their language and abuse and all these things when you are in a social media compared to the direct platform because that give lot of leverage which is somehow called psychology they call it disinhibition effect so there is no inhibition so disinhibition effect will give them like it is fla- more like a frank uncensored like behaviors will be happening there as well so the just take away for this part is that you should be more impeccable with your words It just generally means is that for example if somebody is writing something just wait for 10 seconds think about it when you are talking even though we are talking now just take that 2 or 3 seconds silence and then talk so just be impeccable with your words means be very much picky with your words as well impeccable and i'm just telling another way of the same topic because in nowadays e- an email is like a raw shark test raw shark is a famous test in psychology where people give figures and all these things to understand what is their level of thinking and all these things so there are multiple aspects like uh, there is something called like when you get senior and senior then your emails will become shorter and shorter <laughs> that is one aspect you will see in many aspects like if somebody very high person is telling okay instead of telling dear or something you will just tell approve proceed no signature no dear nothing like that so when you go higher higher words will become lesser and lesser that's but just brevity is one aspects of the roar shaktas but brevity can also it is just showing the power uh, somehow with the brevity we are so i'm telling why i'm telling roar shakta is email is trying to give us some test but the testing it can be misinterpreted as well but this is a digital world so there can be something like passive aggressiveness can happen also sometime we don't like a person but indirectly maybe we are not purposefully doing that but indirectly from our words we try to put some particular words to just poke that person so there is some chance for passive aggressive you can read between the lines you can understand it so whether that person is really having some grudges between you and all and slow response generally <clears throat> is also a miscalculated aspects because usually people tell okay you send an email then i should receive now so then we will think that okay why then this man send an email why should he call him because he need response now uh that's one aspect of the topic but another aspect generally the thumb rule is that we should wait at least 24 hours for an email or something but sometime maybe people purposefully to show their power and authority they purposefully delay it that there is a chance like that also not chance we can do that as well even we can understand from the other and we can do ourselves okay if somebody is asking can you do it for me now so just make sure that uh, we are having our own authority we will not reply that time we'll reply after some time so something like that and formality in the topics and all this also another aspect of the same topic what are you really saying that's uh, another 
another topic of the same because uh, that defines the context suppose you want to explain something which it is very difficult to write it then it's better you don't write an email about that better you talk about it or have a face to face meeting or a zoom meeting or something but instead you just want to tell that okay please proceed everything is clear then you don't have to have a face to face meeting you can just write it even whatsapp or anything is fine so in the nowadays like as we live in the world where things are more like asynchronous like you send something i'll wait for your reply like that so phone calls are like a bombs in the new generation so like phone is something like a distraction if you get a whatsapp message you are fine but if you get a phone so somehow just phone is not a not a good thing for especially for the younger generation so maybe considering chats and also you have to be picky on when to call somebody and also exclamation marks nowadays previously you can shout at people but nowadays you write it in caps letter then that shouting exclamation mark another thing and also emojis even write in emails with emojis but mostly in social medias but we should be careful with emojis as well because sometime these emojis will get mis- misinterpreted in some cultures we'll come to the culture topic later in ellipsis in the like dot 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 in the so that also previously we will think that okay things are go, like continue but that can create multiple meanings in multiple generations and multiple aspects as well is there so question mark uh, your thoughts and something which is also somehow question people really like based on the research and all people don't really appreciate the question marks in the meetings and all these things because what people prefer is something straight direct like that but if you give question mark that will be an opportunity to have more so you are putting somebody in trouble as well <laughs> so that's that's a point of that acceptable response we talk so when you are ceasing somebody that's also another aspect because somebody will purposefully cc someone else just to show that in the other other in the companies okay i'm doing more hard work or maybe like even you are in a one particular team you cc somebody and telling because erica was telling one her experience in when she was working in lehman brothers and all like one of her colleague always cc the boss just yes, she want to tell indirectly to her boss that okay i am doing her job also so so there are multiple messages people try to do with ceasing things but generally ceasing is a good aspect so because everybody will be informed and also but you have to be you have to be very picky and understanding the context and medium of that if you want somebody else authority or backing to get something done then you should cc that but if it is not really necessary your authority itself is enough to make things happen then just direct reply also work also when when somebody else send a cc with lot of things it is not necessary that you have to get all those party you have to be understand also which party to cc back and all these things when you are creating a message that's also important so such thing and also subject of the emails because nowadays uh even though somebody send a message if you can improve the subject do it once but if that is the same topic keep it the same as it is until you change the subject because that will benefit the parties in ccs also and from yourself and other party also to search and then find the even the nowadays microsoft outlook is giving such options to just combine the messages using the same subject and all we go through this topic value visibly so how we make the invisible visible so value visibly be practic be proactive and attentive generally it means lot of things but value visibly generally means that you just respect other person that that's generally other person's time other person's thoughts and lot of things like if there is a meeting at particular time be on time 
and if you are a phone ringing on a meeting just stop the phone like you don't have to show you are busy in the phone or something just make sure that you are not doing something else because some people used to have remote meetings and they used to type something in the keyboard and doing some other emails and all so such behavior like you should value somebody else time that will create even though it is you think that it will not be taken care by other people but that is value visibly that's really important because that is uh, that is really one of the digital uh, body language cues as well people try to understand how much you value them using the such 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 topics like accepting a meeting request or sending an email not replying so all these aspects as well and how you are talking and uh, like such such aspects as well reference details like for example somebody write a long email about something and you just don't not at all attend any of that in your reply then they will feel bad because they try to all this one just to tell you something and but instead if you reference it back okay as per your this one i'm this or you write it reply below that itself that will give you more value okay they will feel appreciated about their messages and all this thing so value visibly on that also also check your tone in the texting and all these things based on your ranking so even though you can have but the tone maybe you write it like that but the tone of that one when it is reading based on the context sometime get misinterpreted especially when you are talking between the different ranks you know it is much difficult on such aspects as well people try to misunderstand that as well phone call is worth a hundred email previously we used to told that a picture is worth 1000 words or something so nowadays a phone call is worth 100 email so if you think that your emails are getting chain and chain and chain and chain to going on like that better you stop and then make a call also another aspect of the same is that like you can do like for example you are sending a disturbing email imagine like that then what you can do is that you can simply give a call to that person before sending him and give him a summary about okay i am going to do this this is what i am thinking i am trying to write it there so then the landing of that email will be more smooth instead you just send like that because you already share the context so based on that context and perspective this other recipient will read that message so all such things are important communicate carefully which is uh, important in the old generation and now our generation also getting to the point because nowadays we still have to write dear somebody how you are you hope things are fine well all these things but then somehow maybe you have to give because you are writing it so it is very not easy to get to the point especially on the digital platforms so try to be to the point when you are checking your words and presentations and all such things think before you type so nowadays there are some apps also which can read aloud and all these things that are read aloud itself that's an app like that multiple word can just or what you type they can but we think that okay what you want to other person to understand think in other person shoe and then try to just frame a thinking first then type it because usually we are in such a way that okay we think that okay when our hands which is actually true when you open the email outlook then whatever it's coming in the mind you just that is easy to type like that this is how most people write email but just be more picky with your words that is really important as well so that's about communicate carefully length of the things are important some aspects when you are talking about a big topic yes length is important length of the message is important actually complexity of the topic sometime also create because you don't have to tell if you think the item is very simple you don't have to explain it too long but some topics really so based on the situation make it length otherwise go brevity on this one 
complexity and familiarity of the topic also if you are talking about something which is familiar to the other party already or you have talked about it before then that is easy to communicate but if it is something it is not at all then you have to give some background also about that so all such aspects is also important collaborate confidently uh this collaboration this is mainly upon an organizational or corporate perspective so it happens on multiple aspects even an organization part or even in a project aspects as well all the stakeholders should be well informed on the progress and all these topics as well so collaborate confidently especially on the digital era your communication and all this aspects is going to collaborate the team you will not be able to talk to all team members especially on such wide uh, like overseas team members and all so you have to make sure that you are collaborating confidently by using the digital platform to understand so understand others and then plan interaction because it's really important because some people really need that particular update so you don't have to just just publish or just broadcast to everybody like that no need but but you have to make sure that okay, what what this but this man is interested or what is their level of engagement on this topic or in this project or in this initiative based on that even in the family or even in the corporate aspect both it is important for example you have a family member you think that they, this update is important for that family member then you should keep them informed like that so measure results not hours so collaborating confidently your heuristic or your measuring criteria should be the results not the number of hours you are collaborating it is not necessary about the number of hours less maybe because you will be more productive because meetings are somehow like if you follow peter drucker and all meeting is not a productive aspects meeting somehow will even time like four or three or four meetings will take all our drain our energy and all our work will be still pending and maybe if you ask about what is the key actions of that meetings maybe you can tell only one per meeting or two per meeting or something like that so it's not very much productive nowadays meetings even though we can improve such things we can have a pre agenda and all these topics make it brief to the time and somebody is moderating and all this aspect still meeting is not the solution for everything <clears throat> sometime we can just solve it before that set clear roles and expectations that's also for collaborations it is important if you tell the other person what you are going to expect out of this thing they will try to be more able to communicate and collaborate as well so you have to be clear expectation on the result and deliverable and all that also will be important be thoughtful on your deadline uh, this is also an, an an interesting aspects because we live in a world where we will have a deadline from our bosses our clients and all this but when you are giving a deadline or so you are getting a deadline also if you think it is totally unreasonable you will not be able to appreciate it and act on it so when you are giving somebody deadline be thoughtful on what is about that that's that's also an important understand the detail before telling yes if somebody ask you a question on a digital platform or whatsapp or email or something don't immediately tell yes just try to understand the all the aspects and then tell yes it is important compare to compare to though this is now the making lot of problem in collaboration and confidently and all these things follow up strategically which also happens occasionally or most often in the current scenario where you have to send somebody email and then you have to follow up and all these things actually follow up is one way it is an irritating for other aspect but in some aspect it will be like a reminder or something so you have to be more strategic when you are follow uping and maybe you don't have to cc everybody you can only send them email or or you can be more polite in reminding till the just checking okay I'm, this email is received or something like that that will be more so be have an executive presence in your words so be professional as we mentioned earlier be, be impeccable somehow be professional with your words as well <clears throat> so chapter 7 talk about trust totally as i mentioned earlier power and trust which is somehow going together so if the trust is not there 
then it is very difficult to communicate and even the digital body language also like non verbal such things will not work easily so if you want to have a best collaborative team in this digital personified world trust is really important so trust totally is really important so imagine like erika the one was talking about something her, her mother told that if you find a strange car you should not enter this was from her childhood memories but later on when she become teenage and all she has uber in the uber taxis and all so she was very initially she was not able to get into the car she was not able to because it's like a stranger car with a stranger driver it's not a good equation generally so trust is important but if you try one time uber or something then that trust will build up build up build up then then maybe you will be used only uber compared so that is what happened that's what the success of uh, uber as well all voices should be heard as well and it's also important for trust even you have a colleagues or somebody all voices even though that is something like contradicting to something if there is all voices are getting heard they will have their trust on their abilities and that way they will be able to trust each other and all these aspects as well all will be able to speak without fear and all these things model the behavior which you want to see generally if you are a leader or something just try to model a behavior which you want to see from the team members so that way you are yourself showing it as an example of trust for the people create psychological safety with the team that's also an important aspect as well so also you should be authentic and be allowed to be vulnerable if you don't have vulnerability people will not able to express their thing topics and that way you they will not be able to gain trust or just get their attention and all these things so be authentic and be vulnerable that's also important aspects and get the trust totally gender uh which is also an aspect in digital communication when a boy is boy talking to a boy or a girl is girl talking to a girl that communication will be different when the opposite sexes are talking each other so boys become assertive and uh, conflict girls become indirect and thinking about others and all these things so it's more like empathetic on the girls aspect and boys will be more assertive on this aspect but generally this can be captured like for example if you are a gentleman you can capture something a feminine aspect on your language as well so you don't have to be just be assertive you can be assertive and indire- indirect so together that that is a good thing as per well. so adapt based on the audience and situation sometime you have to be assertive sometime you have to be empathetic with the person as well so gather input from multiple mediums that is also another another aspects of that as well men women they fear because even there are books talking about men are from mars and women are from venus and all this so we have a in the gender itself there is a different way of communicate but when it come to a, a digital platform it become more communicated more more complicated actually so you will see like a bossy woman confident woman like high, not louder but to find men close and all these things so when nowadays especially when the ladies are on a higher organization higher level of the corporate structure so the the ability to control that power will be determined by how they are able to capture the non verbal cues of gents and their team members and all these things so that's important compared to feel feel men in women and feel women in men so you you if you are a woman just try to be men in some part so try to adapt to the situation and use multiple aspects that's also an important understanding and also just showing or projecting your digital body language generation as i mentioned earlier like different generation pick things differently so there are digitally native and digitally adaptive people so because nowadays like there are lot of content available in the google and all which you cannot even digest and that much level and even new apps are getting 
released every 3 to 1 month or 3 to 4 weeks and all this so you will not get, have an idea to understand everything so you have to experiment with channels you have to be understand go outside the comfort zone when it is multiple generations and culture just go outside the comfort zone understand what the generation understand uh, what generation prefers try to use multiple mediums of communication based on that generations and all because sometime maybe younger generation they'd like to use slack or some whatsapp group to communicate but some other team maybe they would like to have phone conference or something so just uh, embrace the emoji revolution as well even though generation it is difficult so that's about generation about culture which is uh, a very debatable topic we are somehow stereotypical on most of the culture if you tell about okay that country of because we just put some label on people like that so that's one aspect of the culture which is also coming if you have a, because nowadays you can easily have a meeting with somebody who is very far away if someone from us can do some somebody have a meeting here at uk or in somewhere else asia or russia or anywhere i'm just telling it is just a click away like that. so when you have somebody in the meeting you just don't have to be very stereotypical you can be curious on that so that way you will be able to understand the non verbal cues easily uh, like erica was explaining like when he was uh, meeting meeting his uh, husband for the first time her husband family uh, her family have a culture that first hotel bill they will split but actually uh, rahul is his husband family so when erica's family suggested for splitting the bill they feel very much offended like on that part so that's how the culture even in one country they are both of them from india only but still even it is in same country there are different cultures there different way of living and thinking and all these things as i mentioned earlier high context uh there are some some countries where high context like central europe latin america middle east asia and all where high context where there are more importance to the non verbal cues when you meet somebody you will or when you talk somebody you will start with how are you you'll shake hands or you'll tell namaste or assalam alaikum or lot of things so such way it is that is a culture but in some other culture like low context for united states or uk like that they are more not much into non verbal cues they are more into talking and all these things so loudest duck got shot that is what chinese so somehow it is not necessary that you should be the loudest person in the group or you should be well engaged in the group or platform and all it's not necessary also but you don't necessary to be silent as well so recognize the bias in the in the culture so if you understand how the other person bias is showing you can just try to adapt to that person uh, cultural stereotypical behavior and you can get win on that solution so you can understand the digital body language by keeping in mind there is a chance other person will have such a stereotypical understanding about your culture and all these things so as i'm dear is good emailing aspects and all these things also it should be interested when you are writing to somebody uh, email it it also matters on high context and low context people you can some you have to some if you are writing to someone in high context instead of dear you mentioned hi they will feel offended okay why is so even though you are meeting each other every year or every month still you have to start your email with a dear so that's end of the book it's uh, <clears throat> comparatively in an, a, a different genre of a book we are doing it's uh, for a professional purposes it's one of the thinker 50 best uh, must read books of 2022 wall street journal best seller as well so i would recommend you read the book as well and share your feedback on the comment box if you like otherwise like uh, share subscribe and until we come with the next book bye for now thank you